Hey everyone, I am Amanda from Mandy Lynn Plans. Welcome back for another plan with me, or welcome if you are new. Today I will be planning in my Hobonichi cousin from February 11th to the 17th. And I will be using the Pretty in Pink kit that we have in our Etsy shop, Mandy Lynn Plans. And I will be using the full kit. The full kit in through, includes these three pages. You can buy them separately if you don't think that you need all three, but if you buy all three, there is a little bit of a discount for you. So before we get right into this week, I do want to show you how this um, week that I'm filming here is shaping up so far. So I was using the Paper Joy PH kit, and this is what I have left, just a little bit of decor left. I quickly used all of the appointment labels, and I still have these to-dos, which I think she intended to put here, but I like having different categories on each of these, and so instead of using the to-dos, I just named them myself. And I don't usually love having my daily to-dos in with my weekly spread. I usually like having that um, in the daily pages. So, I was actually kind of surprised. I did find some use for some of this decor. So here I needed to mail a birthday card, and so that was a little reminder, and I actually needed to this day as well, um, but I didn't want them right next to each other. And then we have new releases coming up on Friday, and I know that I will need to make a big post office run there. So this kit lent itself well to having um, decor that I could actually use and not just little random, you know, pictures of girls or something. So anyway, um, I was happy that I could actually use these because I complained a little bit about there being so much decor. So, um, let's go ahead and get right into planning for this week. Actually, before I do that, I do want to go ahead and show you the fountain pen ink colors that I have selected. Now, if you haven't watched one of my Plan With Me's before, um, my favorite pen to use is this Pilot Vanishing Point, and it is a fountain pen, so you can change the ink color in it. And I usually like to give you options, and then I ask you to vote in the comments, and then whichever one has the most votes is the one that I ink up and use for the next week. So. Flipping back to this one, this might be the most beautiful, perfectly matched ink of the whole since I've been doing this. And this was Jade, and it just looks so good with these stickers. And this is fountain pen friendly sticker paper, which isn't very common, so I was excited to try that. Okay, so the three ink colors that I have selected for you, I have Pigmented Rose Red by Platinum, which is actually a pink. And then I have Lexington Gray, which is a permanent ink that has beautiful shading. And what that means is that sometimes where the ink kind of pools, it's darker, and then other spots, it's lighter. And then this is Blue Merle. It's another gray. Um, it's a much darker gray, and it's a more consistently dark gray. So I thought that um, these three would be great options for you. So go ahead and vote now in the comments so you don't forget either the Pigment Rose Red, and you can just say pink on this, or Lexington Gray or Blue Merle. All right, and I have pre-planned as usual. Oh, and I forgot to mention too, I'm not sure if you can tell, but in my day in the life of my planner video, I did watercolor on this. So there is a very faint pink wash on this. And um, I can see it better in person than the camera is picking it up. Um, so I'm really excited to see how this is gonna look once we're all done. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start by whiting out this side of this little navy box. The washi doesn't quite go all the way to the edge of the paper. I don't like to see it peeking out. Sometimes it goes with the color scheme and other times it doesn't. Um, so I guess if it goes with it, I don't really mind it so much, but this one it will not. And actually, I think I will go ahead and um, white out the whole thing because it's white and um, it will show through, I think, if I don't. So normally I would just stop here if it was a darker colored washi strip but I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole thing. And I think it's just this navy that I'm gonna white out. I don't think I will go all the way across. Although, 
I might do these boxes since they're pretty harsh. Oops. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and throw this washi down. Um, if you are not familiar with the way that I do my sticker kits, the washi is continuous. So it's not just copy paste. Um, the washies will line up if you put them in the correct order. So the one that's on the left is intended for the left page and the one that's on the right is intended for the right page. And if you turn them this way, this part will line up with this part down here. So we're gonna start here. So we have been working really hard on new releases for the shop. We have, um, we'll have four new designs for April um, for both the weekly kits, the monthly kits for the cousin, and a monthly kit for the A6. And then um, I have, let's see, some new things too. I have several new script, pa uh, several new script um, pages that I'm working on. Um, there's a new size of labels. So I have, right now I've only had the skinny ones that cover the one hour and the fat ones that cover the two hour. I will have um, hour and a half, like 90 minute um, ones available. And then also a new colorway for those as well in all the sizes. So if you're one that likes to buy as many labels as you can and you don't really use the kits, that will be a good option for you. You'll have more available to you. I'm gonna try lighting it up this way. And you know, I should have done it upside down. I almost always have better results with it upside down and I forgot to do that. But that's not terrible. It's not perfect, but it's not terrible either. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is use my February monthly stickers. These are available. We have February and just a Monday start. We have March in a Sunday or Monday start option, and we will have April in both Sunday and Monday as well, coming to the shop on Friday. Friday is actually the day that this video will go live, so you can go ahead and check. Up until this point, releases have been in the evenings, but I'm really trying um, to get it done earlier. No promises. Um, my goal is nap time. Um, we will see if that happens or not. Um, before I finish this sidebar, I'm going to go ahead and do the checklist at the bottom so I know how much space I have and all of that. So I'm going to start with my little check boxes down here. I think I'm going to alternate the colors. So I have pink starting at the top and then gray. I'll have pink. Usually I like them to be the same, but this time I think I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit. It's always fun to do that every once in a while so you don't get sick of everything that you're doing. So let's see, I'm actually filming this a day earlier than I normally do. I'm filming on Wednesday because we had an unexpected snow day. Actually, it's more of an ice day than a snow day. Um, we didn't actually get very much snow at all, but we got a lot of ice. So it's fun to be home on an unexpected day when I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> How many times can I say unexpected in that sentence? Um, okay, so now I'm going to go in with my washi. I like doing the thin washi on the bottom and then the medium sized washi here. And these are the same way, they are continuous. So I'm um, going to start with, actually, I'm going to start with the thin. And now, usually with most designs, the thin washi doesn't, um, it's not as obvious that it is continuous, but it is. And there we go. That's one thing that's really, really fun about designing your own stickers. I'm pretty sure that everybody has 
pet peeves about sticker kits, and you might even about mine too. Um, th little things, I wish they did this differently, or why can't they just do this? So making my own stickers has been such a blast. I have really enjoyed it. Um, so this one, I don't want this piece to go all the way across. I wanna use this little part of it for something else. So instead of lining it up here, I'm gonna line it up this way so that the continuous part is in the right section. And I need to find my X-Acto knife. I usually have everything pulled out, but since I haven't needed my X-Acto knife, like ever almost, this is the only time that I use it now since designing my own kits. And so I don't, I forget that I need to pull it out whenever I do my plane with these. I used to use, if you're new, I used to use um, stickers that were made for Erin Condren planners. Um, I would probably go out on a limb and say that 75% maybe of the stickers made, like Etsy shops and things, are for um, planners that have bigger columns and things like Erin Condren or Happy Planner. I think they're the same size. So they're actually an inch and a half across here. This is like 1.31 or something silly like that. Um, anyway, so I was using stickers that were designed for that planner and I was making it work for me by cutting it with an X-Acto knife and that's all well and good and fine. I mean, if that's what you have to do, that's what you have to do. Right, and actually, um, I make the things on the sidebar here one and a half inches. Um, the grid stops here, but I like to make it, I like to make my writing space longer, so that's why I did this. So if you try and put these in the weekly, they will be too long, but you can use your X-Acto knife and cut off this edge and nobody would know. Or if you don't like the days of the week, then you could cut that side off, whichever. All right, so before I forget, I'm gonna go in with my script sticker and do um, Be Grateful here. I like having my little thing for Be Grateful. A spot every day of the week. And then I think I'm going to do meals here. And let's see, should I do, where should I do this little full box? Should I do it down here and then cover it up or should I do it in the middle so that it kind of breaks it up? I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna line this up, I think over here. I usually put it on the bottom and stack the ombres, but I think this will be fun. I'm gonna do like this. Again, trying new things. Okay, there's that. And then I'm going to use this, I think for meals. I'm just gonna place my meals sticker right there. I like that, how it separates out the ombres. Does anybody else think that ombre is a really weird word the more that you say it? Ombre, ombre, ombre. It's like it turns to mush or something if I say it too much. Oh dear, I'm sorry. Some of the things that enter my head should not come out. I need a better filter some days. I'm just, today's been a great day. I love being home, especially on a day where I thought I was gonna be um, super busy with school and um, Awana, everything is canceled. And so we just get to stay home. I got some extra snuggles with my daughter, which she is not a snuggler. Normally I get about three seconds of good morning snuggles and that is it. Oh, and I just realized that I never finished putting down this washi. Squirrel moment there, sorry about that. You were probably screaming at me. Amanda, you forgot the washi. Too bad it doesn't work. If, oh, you know what would be fun? Is if I did a live plan with me sometime. Let me know in the comments if that is something that you guys would be interested in, a live plan with me. I would have to figure out how to make it work though because I film I have a Canon Rebel and I film with that. Um, and so I think I would have to film with my phone, which I'm sure I could get to work, but 
it would just not be um, my normal. So I would need to figure that out. But if that is something that you guys would be interested in, please let me know in the comments. And um, that's something that we can look into doing. So I think it would be really fun. Having your guys' feedback, I could include you in some of the decision making. Like I could ask you, should I do this or this? And you could tell me, ooh, that would be really fun. So yeah, let me know if you're interested at all in that. Obviously the only way that it would work is if I found a time that it would work for the majority of people. And that actually might be the hardest part. And I'm not super crazy about the idea of filming at night just because I don't have a very good lighting set up. That's something that I need to improve for sure. Um, but I would be open to the idea if enough people are interested and it works for them. So what I usually try and do um, with this sheet, the washi, washi sheet, say that five times fast, washi sheet. Um, I usually try and use these labels up first so then I can just pitch this sheet and then I only have one floating around in my planner throughout the week. Um, just a little heads up there. So then I have a lesson and then I have a wanna. I'm gonna use this light pink one. And that is at, what time does that start? Seven, okay. I really love Awana, um, but I am looking forward to a break too tonight. I need to catch up on design work. Like I said, I'm filming this on Wednesday night. Uh, new releases go out Friday. So by the time you're watching this, I will have the designs all done. Ooh, you know something fun that I've been working on that I haven't mentioned yet and you know about if you're in the Mandylin Plants Facebook group. So make sure you head on over. I will link it down below if you're not already a member. I showed them a sneak peek of what's coming. I have, um, oh, let's move that over a little bit. I have been working on daily um, headers. So like I do in my bullet journal, how I have the day little, you know, headers, day headers. So um, those will be available as well as everything else. And you know what I just remembered? I do like in this Paper Joy PH houses this house. <laughs> I do like how there is this box up here. And I was using this for kind of my Amanda, don't forget, like these are the really important things this day. And I like having that on my weekly. Um, I don't plan my dailies in advance. I use them a lot like a bullet journal. And so I do think I want to put some of these. Do I have enough? I do, um, just barely. And I have some leftovers from when I took pictures that I'll make it work. Um, let's see, I have two of each of these, okay. Um, anyway, sidetracked again. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll do it up there. Um, so yes, I'm gonna try doing this for just kind of, hey, don't forget this is really important. You have to do this this day type things. It's especially helpful things that I'm not used to doing at all. For example, two of our niece's birthdays um, are, actually Wednesday and Thursday. So they've already happened by the time you're watching this. But um, sending them birthday cards is something that we have decided as a priority. And um, it's really fun to do. And we try and make it to where it shows up on their birthday. It doesn't always happen quite like that. But I'm not necessarily in the habit of doing that because it doesn't happen you know, every single day. And so it was helpful to have these little reminders of sending the birthday cards in my weeks so that I don't forget to transfer it to my daily pages. So that is what we're gonna do there. And I also noticed that I have not put my numbers up yet. So Monday is the 11th and I think I'm gonna put it up here on top. I think that'd be cute. So the only thing with these boxes is that it doesn't show the design quite as much 
But to be perfectly honest, there is still plenty of pink going on. You know what I'm saying? This is a very, very, very pink Valentine's Day kit. So I don't think I will miss a little bit of the hearts. I do like that the hearts are still kind of peeking around. So that's what we're gonna go with. Okay, checking to see if I missed out anything else super obvious. This is really crooked over here. So one thing, um, planning on camera, um, for you guys, you're staring at, you know, the whole thing the entire time. And you're, you know, catching things. You probably noticed that was crooked, like, since I laid it down. Um, but when you're actually filming on camera, it's kind of nerve-wracking. And I've gotten used to it for the most part. But there's just so much that you have to do and so much that you have to say to make it interesting. Because um, if you're not talking, it's kind of boring. Um, my first couple playing with me's, if you want a laugh, my first couple playing with me's were pretty terrible. Um, I did a lot of fast forwarding and that's fine and great and dandy and there's nothing wrong with that. But um, I just, I didn't even talk about what was going on much. I just kind of said, okay, and now I'm gonna do this. And then I sped through it and now I'm gonna do this. Oh, and I think I might do this. Like, I am so surprised that people watched those and people subscribed. So thank you everybody who has been with me from the beginning. Um, I was going back through one of them and I just had such a chuckle. And I'm sure that in a couple years I will probably look back on these and think the same thing. Especially about how rambly this one has been. So this we only have library. I put a little Valentine's, the little heart one here for Valentine's Day on Thursday. We do not have Valentine's plans yet. Um, we, I know for sure we will not go out Thursday night. We don't like doing that because that's when everybody else goes out. Well, okay, not everybody else. The majority of people. And we like to steer clear of that if we can. Um, so anyway. Friday is payday. I think that's all I had for Friday. And then this week at church, it is our week to do absolutely nothing except for be members of the service and worship. I um, originally on my monthly had that I was on the nursery this week, but I was wrong and it was the previous week. So I do have a church sticker and I just get to put church. I don't have to put AV, I don't have to put nursery, I don't have to put singing. And then we have small group that night. So I'm gonna put this, that is at six. And it's quite a drive, so I kinda like it to overlap there. Okay, now I think, oh, let's do the weekend banner. There's a lot of script up here. Do we want it here? Do we want it down here? Let's put it down here. Although I'm gonna have things here too. Let's scooch it just, well, then it's a, oh dear, sticker problems. I would put it up here, except that's where those are. That's really script heavy. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. So it's overlapping just a little bit, but it's not overlapping this one. And I'm gonna use, I think, the light pink little dots here to help make that stand out. I think these little dots are so fun to help make things stand out more in your planner. If it's something like this where I don't necessarily need a full label underneath it. Okay, this, let's see. What else do we need? Okay, so I need my scripts for down here. All right, so we're gonna do laundry and to clean. And I'll do my work to do's. And you start tracking my workouts again. Let's do goals. 
So a lot of these things are very similar week to week, but I still find it helpful, especially like laundry and cleaning things. These things don't change. Actually, and work doesn't really change too much either, but it's helpful for me to see them. Oh, I haven't cleaned the bathroom yet this week. I need to do that type thing. It's easy for me to speak. Oh yeah, I cleaned it last week. No big deal. And then last week becomes, you know, it's always a, oh yeah, it was a couple weeks ago, no big deal. So anyway, it helps me. And then if I do miss a week, I can go back and, oh, I didn't clean it last week. I really need to clean it this week. Okie dokie. Let me look, because I always forget stuff. I do need to still put my school, my school scripts. These are in my shop. I do have several pages of script only like where they're the same script. What am I trying to say? Like these are all school. This was the weekly page where it has a whole bunch of different things for the week. This is all the same. And I think that is it. I do have a library sticker, script sticker, but um, I haven't grabbed that for myself yet. It's downstairs in my inventory. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write that myself this week. All right, I think I'm ready to go ahead and go in. This, I use my Tombow Mono drawing pen. I like the 03. I also like the 05, but not um, for these stickers in, like especially the thinner ones. Okay, let's just go ahead and go on in. I apologize for that. My camera has a bad habit of shutting off without making any clicks or dings or anything. And especially when I'm writing, I don't look up, <laughs> so I don't notice it. So you didn't really miss much. All I did is go in and write in the things that I have for the week. Um, I think I'm gonna just wait on these until it gets closer. I know what some of them are already, um, but I will wait on those. And then I usually wait to do my to-dos down here until you guys have selected the fountain pen ink color. I like using my fountain pen um, in my weekly as much as I can. These stickers aren't the most fountain pen friendly, so I like using them down here um, for sure. And then it, if anything comes up and I don't need a sticker for it, but I could just write it in, I love using my fountain pen for that. So again, here are the three choices, two grays and then a pink option for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time. Actually, I said that I always forget something after I shut off my camera. Um, I have not actually ever shown these on camera. I always forget to use them in my plane with me. These are pregnancy stickers. I forget what they're called. They're from Planner Kate, and I cut off the extra washi in her stuff so that it fits in my Hobonichi so I can carry it around with me. Um, but these are Planner Kate and they just tell, um, they have the weeks and they have if there's a doctor's appointment or a sonogram and that type of thing. I like that she has both um, cool color options and warm color options for um, so you can choose which one goes in your spread better. So if she didn't have that option, I'd be stuck with this lime green. Um, and instead I get to use this red, which doesn't go with my spread perfectly. Um, I really would have loved, you know, one of these pinks, um, but it's much better than the green option. So I turn weeks on Tuesdays. So I will be 17 weeks pregnant on the 12th. All right, I think that's all. Thanks guys, until next time.